Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Shift Jewels, and we are going to be reviewing this expanded pack um, of a Stardew Valley mod. It's something new. I love Stardew Valley, and I'm really excited to actually experience this mod. It's called the Extended Farm Mod, and I will put a link in the trip in the description below of that mod. So. Um, pretty much it just makes the world a lot bigger and it adds in some new NPCs. Um, I've played this a couple times to where I know the gifts that every single villager wants and then I just know their heart events and it's just kind of boring after a while. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Alrighty, so this is the map size now, and as you can see, it is extended by a lot. We will try to get to all that we can on this day, and then just, I guess, look at everything else. And it looks like that we have an additional farm off to the right of our farm. It looks like we can go up to the mountains. So, we will try to see all that we can get into. Alrighty, so let's, hmm go up from our farm and we have a new sitting area by our dog house or our cat house whichever animal you choose and we are just gonna chop our way through um, there's, a, <laughs> there's a lot more landscape around to have to fight through so that's not much different and you can see there's still more landscape and more trees which is good if you're going to play on a multiplayer, which I think I've read that it is compatible, but the other people in your multiplayer are not able to, um, to romance the other NPCs as if you were. So it looks like that Robbins is still the same. Nothing really new. Yep. I've never seen these decorations before though, and that workbench. Oh, there's Sebastian, and it looks like he has more decorations. I don't know, maybe I'm just, but yeah, this definitely looks new, this workbench. Various tools are stored, okay. It looks like some preservatives, some preserve jars. All right, so let's go right of Robins, and there's good old Linus. So, oh yeah, this is the first day, so we are not able to go over there just yet. Alrighty, so, this doesn't look much different, but I think this actually might be a new entrance down. Oh, there's Joja Mart which I've always played it to where I terminate Jojo Mart. Um, I think that Claire is now a new NPC. I think that so is Joja. And it looks like that they moved Joja's little thing over here to over here. Yeah. I've never actually learned Morris's real name except until now. And it's Joja. I just call him Joja. And there's a good old Shaney boy, which I'm not going to talk to him just yet. Alrighty, and I think there's something a little bit north. Yeah. So it looks like a graveyard. Pelican, town, date, built in recognition of the Stardew Valley's elegance. Okay. I wonder if this will be utilized more. And then I want to say that they've also included more of, like, more town events. So. Look at a new little sitting area. Oh, I love that. Oh, what? So, if you don't know where we are, we are in between Joja and then the, um, the blacksmiths. And then the museum as well. It looks like that they got rid of their trash can, so you can't rummage their trash can anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's see if there's anything new with... Nope, it looks pretty much the same. It looks like they might have added a table. Oh, hello. Are you new? Sophia. Eek, a stranger. 
What if I give you this? Oh, thanks. Oh, she didn't like that. The former of pizza. Oh. The Blue Moon Vineyard. Do we have competition, I smell? Oh. Some more farm? This is the pet community garden. So, where does Gus go whenever... I like that this, um... The person who created this mod gave Gus something to do other than live, eat, breathe, the sun drop um, saloon. <laughs> and it looks like they added some chairs, some study areas, which is really exciting because I'm a sucker for the library and the museum. <laughs> so yeah, this is awesome. I would really like if you could sit in them, but you really couldn't do anything anyway. Oh, hello. Are you new? You look like Sebastian with like the dark hair. Oh, hey, there you are. You're the new owner <laughs> pizza form. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jules. Is it? Ooh. Have you met my mother? Okay. So maybe we'll venture into their home soon. Alrighty, so look at that there is a new patio in Elliot. Looks new. <gasps> I don't know where I'm at. Beach. Oh, okay. Am I on the map here? No. So I'm guessing in the newer parts you don't show in the map. So this looks like the vineyard. So let's go adventuring. Tons of scarecrows. Oh, I love that. Grapes are cleaned and stopped in this water whale. Well, whale. Oh, this is beautiful. And you can go through their stuff, like not go through their stuff, you can look through what they have. Which is a beautiful um, mod. Oh, oh, that's kind of scary, that was a person. The first slash adventure cosplay. Oh, so she is a cosplayer. And you can buy some wine from her and some sprinklers, which that's really nice, especially if you're starting out and you don't want to go mining a lot to go um, make it. Okay. You can't enter Sophia's wine cellar. Okay. Go up north. There's nothing in the drawer. Old pillowcase. Mom. Dad. Dad. Mom. Antique clock. Hmm. Dad. Huh. Okay. There's moving boxes. Won't be able to go into her room. No oh, this is nice. That's a little addition. So I wanna say that I watched or read somewhere where there's a very interesting story to this family and home. This looks the same. So there's a Frigo. Three players. Oh, this is awesome. All our expense report. Game door. Okay, I don't think I missed anything in here. Yeah, okay, so this is the new um, vineyard, and it looks like that there is a lot of stuff. She's also a farmer. So I wonder how that would work if you romanced her and married her. Oh, what is that? I don't know. And it looks like you can walk really easily through, which is nice. Okay. So we're still adventuring. Oh. 
Oh, it looks like another farm. Which, they should probably be in bed. Oh, no they're not. Oh my god. This is messy. Oh. Shane in the future? <laughs> Sorry. No. When you look at that, it's the new farmer everyone has been talking about. Finally, moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. I feel you, Andy. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. Oh, okay. Let's snoop around your house, why don't we? That one hasn't been cleaning forever. The plant is trying to grow its best. Same. Fill with garbage. Well, that's the purpose of a garbage can. Rotten food. She hasn't cleaned in a while. Beer soap. Maybe Shane in the future. A Jojo jo jo Mart shopping cart and basket. A trash bag. Better than organic. Benefits of Jojo seeds. Oh my god. Oh, we can just walk into his room. Awesome. What's this? It's Annie's diary. You read a page. My yo yoba? My yoba darn plants keep dying and aren't producing enough. I gotta buy more of them Joja fertilizers that ought to do the trick. Hmm. So it looks like he's struggling being a farmer. I'll leave you alone. But this is a great build too because i don't think i've seen the footprints in a home before and this looks nasty it's nasty Alrighty, so since it is dark we can start in the morning again Alrighty, so it is a new day and i thought about going south of our farm that way we can see this really nice pathway and the different paths that we have and then what I really like is that there's like a bridge that goes down to Marnie's. So you can see landscape everywhere. Grass out overgrown. So we're going to get pissed off at Marnie's because hers has changed too. So it looks like that she has a little shed in the back. And it's open from 9 to 6. So we'll definitely stop by here again. And it looks like she has a little farm and some grass for happy cows. And then Leah's place. Which I don't think has changed. Oh, it looks like she has a little sitting area, a little farm, and then one of her sculptures out there. So that's so that's really nice. Let's just just march on through. Okay, so let's go west of Marnie's farm. It looks like there's another farm. I don't know who owns this, but I can't walk through these. So they're just for decoration. It's Marty's crop fill. So, everyone's a farmer in this town. Alright, so look at that. The big iconic tree is still there. Now I say that you can still um, buy some, I guess, some of the more rare items from the gypsy lady. And it looked that the secret forest is still through this way. And then it looks like that the wizard. over here look at the wizard has a farm too wow so it looks like he's growing um oh there's like ancient fruits i think and then a big cauliflower you think to yourself that maybe just maybe there's something magical about this place <laughs> oh yeah definitely it's locked because somebody inside. Yeah, I don't think I've unlocked the wizard's place yet. Because I, I started a brand new game. I wanted to see how this was. And I didn't want to get tied down to the people that I've already married. <laughs> the person I've already married in my previous games. If I wanted to further this. I thought I might be able to move this way. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not on the map still. But this is West West. <laughs> This, this might be where the spring festival is typically held. Oh no. A lot of land to explore. <gasps> There's another vineyard. So we are west of Marnie's and of the wizard. So, oh, can I go in here? <gasps> 
Hello. It's like an overgrown place. I wonder if we can eventually fix this place up to like we do the community center. Wooden bat. Tea smashed in. <laughs> Got an ancient doll out of it. This shirt is moldy. So it looks like this is just an abandoned home. Mold. What is growing on the boxes? So just when this house is just falling under this used to be probably a thriving vineyard and i'd say with the new npcs you figure out what happened Alrighty. so this is gonna be a beautiful vineyard there's a lot of trash around though got a cola so let's see if marnie's area has changed to me and it doesn't really look like anything's changed except for the dirt was this in there before the dirt tracks and chains? Man, you miss all the fine little details, don't you? Okay, so let's go out back and see what's in this little shed. It just looks like her work area. Okay. Ooh, a typewriter? I wonder if there's anything more scandalous between her and Lewis that happens with these um, new event scenes. But we'll see, won't we? Alright, so it looks like that we've explored the majority of the farm, or the majority of the land, other than, you know, the main area. And it looks like that the Adventurers Guild is now moved to the main area, which I don't know how I feel about yet. But it's probably gonna actually make me remember that there is an adventurer's guild. And ooh, we can look at swords. The edge of time. <gasps> oh my goodness. The blade of a thousand cuts. So yeah, you can buy stuff from here, of course. There's stuff up here. His bunks. That's a nice sword. It makes me think of um Cloud Sword from Final Fantasy VII. Maybe that is supposed to be like a little Easter egg nod. I don't know. Alrighty. So we are by Haley's home. Oh, speaking of Haley, and it looks like they did a lot more, um, I guess just general, um, like decorating. Yeah, just general decorating. I love the outdoor seating. Go into this home. <gasps> Hello, you're new. Olivia. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone moves in. Mm, why are you here? Have you met my son, Victor? Oh, that... Oh. Okay. Wow. This is a massive home. Oh, so she is, like, fancy. Like this table is everything is decorated nice a random door can you even open that yeah this looks like victor have any plans today i think i may continue to work on a project i'm in the middle of okay but what do you do let me through thank you can i go through a laundry room so this house is probably the most large and most decorated which I wonder if they have some kind of like scandalous backstory. And everyone has bathrooms now, like nice bathrooms. Which is really exciting. I, I wonder if you upgrade your home, if you also get bathrooms. Olivia's room, and then this looks like Victor's room. Okay. But anyway, I wonder if in this you can expand your home to have bathrooms. I wonder if you can actually use the bathtub as you would the sauna. It'd be interesting. So this is a nice little, like, cellar. I guess I'm asking the Jenkins? Order Manifest. Oh, wow. 1998. I wonder what year this came to take place in. 
I don't think we ever get a year. We just get, you know, summer, like year one, year two. So yeah, this is the um, mod of the extended um, farm, the extended village, and initial thoughts. I'm very excited to play. I'm very excited to get to know the new NPCs. I'm excited to get to explore and get to decorate my farm and just everything on the farm the way I want. I like how it comes with pre-made paths. Um, the only thing that I had an issue with was how how difficult it was for me to put the mods on there because I'm not very mod savvy. I went to the Stardew wiki page and I was following it step by step and I guess what tripped me was how many mods I needed to download in order to get this one to work. I needed to download multiple mods in order for this one mod to actually work on my computer. Um, but once I figured that out, it's smooth. It's very smooth, very easy to maneuver. Um, thanks so much for um, tuning in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel, or share this video to your friends. And if you want to see any more mod reviews on any of The Sims, Stardew Valley, or any other games, please drop that below. And I will see you next time. Bye!